Then I have my offering bowl that I got in Nova Scotia. It's part of my permanent set of tools. Um, it's really big for an offering bowl, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I saw it in a shop and I just had to buy it. So, um, and around the edge it says purify the contents of this basin and it says the same thing in the runes around the rim. The offering bowl is used for communion if you put bread or fruit or any other food in here, you can put um, any other offerings you make, like stones or crafts or anything like that. Then I have my Book of Shadows that I got at Renfest one year. The Book of Shadows, as I hit myself in the face with it, is the one of the most well-known tools of the witch, I think. Um, it is where we write all of our spells, all of our rituals, and keep a written record of it. Well, sometimes it's not written, sometimes you can have a disco shadows or whatever. Uh, it doesn't always have to be pretty. Some people have, you know, notebooks or whatever, and you're gonna have several in your life, so you might not always be able to afford a pretty one. That's why I like this one, because you just need a blank book to go in the leather, like, cover. Some people will combine a Book of Shadows with a Book of Mirrors, or uh, there was another name for it that I just read today, but I forgot what it was. But the Book of Mirrors is typically a journal, a magical journal, where you record all of your reactions to spells, when, they, when you think they take effect, any visions or dreams you have, uh, scrying experiences, meditation experiences, etc. Some people will combine them. Personally, I have a Book of Shadows and a Book of Mirrors that's in the other room. It's just a notebook. I like to keep them separate because I just jot down all sorts of random stuff in my Book of Mirrors and I like my Book of Shadows to have a bit more focus and so that when I go looking for a ritual I'll actually be able to find it. Um, but that's just personal preference. And then I have my set of runes um, that I usually keep on my altar because I use them fairly often. Um, yeah, I'm more of a runes girl than a tarot girl. I actually don't like tarot at all. And it has nothing to do with tarot as an art. It really doesn't. I'm just, I don't know, it's just not my favorite form of divination. And it's just kind of irritating when every time you go to a pagan event, there are like 15 workshops on tarot and like nothing on any for other form of divination. But so I use runes and scrying, usually mirror scrying. My scrying mirror is not on my altar right now. Um, it's in my other collection. The bell is used for, and it has a little goddess symbol on it, it's used for, to symbolize the um, transition, the transitions in a ritual. It's used to, signif to signify that the younger self should take over for ritual with, along with other acts in the ritual itself, which I'll do a video on entirely, uh, or probably a series of videos on. And it's also used to bring the circle back to the mundane world at the end. And then my only other tool is my Bridget's Cross that my friend made me. We were actually going to an involved ritual and I got sick and uh, I was really upset because I didn't get to go and it was my first like public involved ritual that I wasn't organizing. So uh, he made me one and brought it back for me. That's my altar tools. And right now I just have this cloth, because, this runner, because it's easier since this is also my chest of drawers so I can get into it. And it goes with my room theme, to be honest. Right, I, I've never really changed it for a Sabbath because I haven't really found other ones that I like. But um, maybe in the future I'll have a set for the year. The altar cloth serves a practical purpose in that it keeps candle wax and ashes from incense and crumbs and whatever else uh, from damaging your altar. It also serves a focusing purpose depending if, on what color you use. If you're doing, say, a love ritual, you might choose pink or red it'll get your younger self to focus on what you're doing. 
and being able to visualize the effect um, with that symbolism. Some people will change it for the seasons. They'll use like black at Samhain or pink or green or yellow at Ostara. So that's my altar. Talk to you guys later. Bye.